Hello and welcome back. I am Laura. And in today's video, I'm going to be tilling my garden in. I'm going to be using the Mantis. It is a great tool. It is a small front time tiller that works perfectly in my raised beds. So in today's video, I am going to be tilling up my garden because I'm hoping next weekend I'm going to be able to plant all my vegetables, well, and fruit. I have some cantaloupes also that I'm going to be planting, among other vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and get that going. Fleece was probably a little too warm working out here even though it's kind of chilly outside but once I got moving <laughs> it's a little warm anyways I went ahead and I got all of this tilled the next time you see me I am going to be planting my vegetables out here uh, last year I had pumpkins in this patch and the year before but the vine borers and the squash bugs got them I don't know which one actually decimated them maybe it was a little of both but anyways, I decided I'm not planting pumpkins in this patch again. I might borrow the field next door and maybe throw some pumpkin seeds out. But right here, I'm going to be planting vegetables. So the next time you see me, I will be planting my vegetables and getting it going for the summer season. Hopefully, I will be able to plant next weekend. So today is the day that I'm going to be planting my 2024 veggie garden. I'll, and a fruit garden. I do have uh, some cantaloupes that I'm growing in there. Otherwise, everything else is primarily vegetables and herbs. To say I'm excited is an understatement. I have been germinating my seeds here and I have some more over here. I've had them outside for probably the last week or so, trying to harden off. But today's the day I'm going to be planting. I am going to go ahead and time lapse. I'm going to do it the planting in both gardens. I'm going to start with the garden in the backyard over here and then I'm going to finish up planting in the garden out there. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse that so I don't have to bore you with everything but before I get started I want to show you I have a map and this is how I usually document what I plant and where I plant because I'm horrible about labeling things. So we have drawn out this is essentially a map of the garden that's the backyard garden. It's got the three different beds. And all I do is I identify whatever I'm planting, like my cantaloupes I'm calling melon. So I have M equals melon. And I've already started planting some of them back here um, and actually back here. So I'm going to, as I plant, I'm going to fill this out. And um, at the end, I'll just kind of describe what all of I've, I've planted in order to follow the journey on how well everything does. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started getting planting.
Okay, so I have everything planted. I'm not gonna go into all the details as to what I planted. I actually have another video for that if you're interested. Um, and especially if you're interested in following us in this journey, uh, we obviously are going to be cooking. So there will be cooking videos and canning videos pertaining to the items that we planted in the garden. I will mention though the prep that we did and um, this garden. I did a video, if you haven't seen that, um, what I did a few weeks ago is I cleaned my chicken coop out. So this is all, all that tan brown color, that's all pine shavings. And of course, my chicken's fertilizer. And I let that set on there. It had rained a couple of times. So, um, and then I tilled it in. And, and then it rained even after I tilled it in. So this ground is nice and prepared. And we also added some compost, same with the other garden. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. But what Todd did, we started with this row of, of T-post with fencing that was already here. This arch was already here because this used to be my pumpkin patch. And then this row with T-post and fencing was already here. So what Todd did yesterday, I believe it was, he knew I was gonna be planting this weekend. He added a couple of T-posts in the back there in a fencing. And then he added this section of like a T-post and just zip tied it to the T-post already existing and added the two by four fencing. Same with on this side, because that was just all open and exposed. And then he added this gate. Nothing fancy. Again, it's just the two by four welded wire. And then he added bungee cords. So this is how easy it is. Nothing fancy, but it works. So just clip it on there. And there's two of them. And that will keep the deer out. It will keep my chickens out. And Hopefully, maybe a lot of other pests. I don't know what else will get in there, but hopefully it'll give everything an opportunity to grow in here. Um, this is primarily my jalapeno, green beans, and cucumber garden. And I threw in several other little companion plants, but I discussed that all in my video on my garden tour for the 2024 garden. And let me quickly go and show you the other garden. So this is the other garden. I call it my backyard garden. And I have everything planted that I plan on planting for the entire season. Uh, so I got this bed completely done and filled. I know it looks really sparse, but give it time. It is supposed to rain tomorrow, which I hope it, and pray it does. Otherwise I'm gonna have to come out here and water because I did not water these yet. I went ahead and got all of the cucumbers in here. I got tomatoes in here. I added a couple of string here. That's to help keep the asparagus from flopping over into the bed because it tends to do that as it gets big and lanky like that. Um, I did do something different this year. I Instead of using tomato cages, I'm using T-post and wire. And as the tomato plants grow, I'm just gonna tie it to them. Same with here. I added a couple of T-posts, again, with the intent of trying to um, tie them to these strings as they grow upwards. And then let me show you the other side. And then I have everything planted in here. Again, you will see, if you would like to continue following me on this journey, you will see everything that I planted in here. I'll let you know if it was a success or a failure. And this is primarily peppers and I have my cantaloupes down here. But again, I have some surprise things that I just threw in there with seeds. I am super excited about what this growing season is gonna hold. I know it looks really sparse right now, but give it time, I promise you, this is all gonna fill in. If you've seen any of my videos, like last year's video, especially the one I did a note to self video. I do a lot of live journaling through videos and for me to be able to go back and look to see what everything looked like. And also I discuss 
what issues I had or what successes I had and what I plan on doing the following year. So I will be sure to link that video down below if you're interested in seeing that. But I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. And if you would like to continue following me on this journey and you would like to see everything grow and develop, I will share my successes and failures. If you are interested in following me and seeing where this leads, be sure you subscribe. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. That's a wrap. And until next time, thank you for watching.